Hello everyone! My name is Oxym17 and welcome to the first week of Clue Season 2020. This week we're going to be collecting caskets from everyone's favorite quasi-genocidal support skill, Slayer. I've decided to limit myself to the catacombs of Karen this week, so in addition to collecting clues, we'll also be stacking up dark totems for a couple Skatizo fights at the end of the week. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright folks, week one, clue season 2020, Catacombs of Karend, Slayer for the entire week. Let's see if we get lucky first to ask in. Gargoyles. Ugh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna be doing this, doing this a lot. We're gonna be canceling tasks until we get some that we can do inside the catacombs. Fire giants. Alright, next task immediately. Perfect. We can do those in the catacombs. Let's see if we get any clues from them. This is going to be the whole week, so hype. <laughs> nice, I got a long bone. Alright, the first Slayer task is done. Any clues on that one? No. That sucks. Alright. We got a whole week, don't worry. God bless, first totem piece. All right, finally, first scroll on day one. Let's get that casket. First clue scroll from the dragons. Hell's Bells, what does this song even sound like? Before I forget, we're gonna turn Mimics back on because we had a horrible, horrible experience with Mimics a few months ago. So it took us like 10 tries, but we actually managed to get a uh, quiz master while we were doing uh, brutal black dragons and eating food coincidentally. So this should be fun. Maybe we'll get a, a clue from the mystery box because you always take the mystery box. Mystery box. Now where were we? first elite clue of the series, first elite clue from these dragons. I, I literally adore this task. Oh, Miss Battle Set. Actually, though, <laughs> that's awesome. Nice. So, so this is actually interesting. This is my first ever boss slayer task. So, as much as I want to stick to the catacombs. I think we're gonna accept it and just see what happens. All right, so I'm actually on the wiki right now, and it says with a rainfoil imbued, Callisto has a one in 50 chance to drop uh, an elite clue scroll. We're only gonna kill him three times because I'm pretty certain that I'm gonna probably get PK'd, um, but I mean, shit, I gotta give it a shot.
Oh, that's it. That's the kill. Oh, we did it. Oh, fam. Oh my god, that's our first boss task complete. No clues. But my god. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Alright, folks. Here's the deal. It is Monday, August 3rd. We're finally getting on. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Uh, we originally thought that I had a big assignment due next week to end my summer class. Turns out it's due this week. So, kind of screwed that one up. So, I'm going to have to AFK a lot of these tasks. I don't know if we're going to be able to do any more big bossing until we get to Skatizo at the very end. Uh, between other family events, between school, and between a couple of streams that I'm going to be running. This is going to be kind of rough to do uh, as much Slayer as I thought. But we're going to get as much done as we possibly can before Saturday. Give me something good. Anku. Oh, thank fuck we can do that. Alright, that task took me all of maybe 10 minutes to do. Super quick, super simple. However, uh, we actually are not going to go back to Duradel for this one. We're going to chance it and go to Konar because we don't have a lot of Slayer points. Um, so we might get unlucky and not be able to do one in... Uh, in the catacombs of Kurend for this next one, but we shall see. Six adamant dragons in the Lithrican vault. Okay, that's, uh, that can't be too bad. Oh my god, we didn't bring a fucking anti-fire shield. We're gonna get bodied, never mind. Dragon limbs? Hey, 270 points, 410. Let's go, baby. Show me something good. Ooh, back to back, Anku. We will take it. August 4th, day 4 of, of the RuneScape thing. We're AFKing this Bloodveld task we got last night. Still, uh, we're going to be working on homework and also AFKing Animal Crossing. So, if you guys play Animal Crossing, you should check out my island. It's, it's pretty cool. I think you guys would like it a lot. But I don't have a capture card, so I can't show you. <laughs> oh my god, back to Slayer. Yay! All right, Imbued Heart, Dark Totem Top though, that's all that really matters. Not two seconds later, look at the chat box right there, not two seconds later do we get back-to-back -back superior monsters. You know RuneScape doesn't want me to do my homework so it's giving me these back-to-back -back superiors. It's like, oh, you can't AFK Slayer today, you have to, you have to actually pay attention. Eternal Gem? Hmm? Hmm? What do you think? I'm good? Yep. Damn. Hey, it's another it's another totem piece though. They always drop totem pieces down here, which I think is cool. So Task 153, here we go. Blue dragons. Oh, I really wish I could do this at Vorkath. Damn it, oh well. Alright, I lied. We are gonna do some Vorkath because the idea of doing 158 brutal blue dragons is just painful. It's gonna be like seven hours long, so hard pass on that. We're gonna crank out some here at Vorkath and then we're gonna go back to the catacombs. decided to mix it up a little bit. I felt kind of bad leaving the catacombs to only do four calf. Uh, we might go back there a little bit, but we are going to try to do some brutal blues in the catacombs. Hopefully get more totem pieces along the way. This is going to be my last 4 cath kill because I want a clean 85, then I'm going to go to Meyer to get the fuck out of this house because I have been sitting here all goddamn day looking at homework and playing this fucking game. Let's get a skeletal visage. What do we think? Sounds good. 
Bingo, baby. Manta Ray, that's a good supply drop though. I will 100% take that. All right, now let's go do literally anything else besides old school RuneScape for a while. We're canceling blue dragons. I can't do it anymore. I can't get 89 more Vor Vorkath kills and brutal blues are driving me fucking crazy. Cancel task, fuck this shit. All right, what's next? Stacking off. Okay, it's not gonna be great, but it's gonna be much quicker than that. So we'll get back to that when we're done not playing this game for a while. And by a while. August 5th, back at it again with another spicy Dagonoth task. We're gonna get this one done. Again, gonna be mostly just AFKing tasks today because we have to finish this nightmare assignment. First medium of the uh, of the series. Let's go. I forgot to capture it, but 79 Slayer, one away from Necreals, turn up. Greater Demons, god damn it. You know you like it. Hey, oh, 85 no. Mage, oh. let's go. You can now cast Teleblock. Fuck yeah. Alex. Let's go PK, let's go PK. Oh, I don't what know. So what are we doing this giveaway for, by the way? Just for the stream, for the charity stream. What's the charity stream for? <laughs> it's uh, it's for the fight against cancer for McMillan. It's um, you know, to support everything they do, working with the families of loved ones that have been affected <laughs> by cancer. And so far, we're six hundred and ten pound when our target was five hundred pounds. We are way yeah. over. And it's been absolutely fantastic. That's right. like thirty mil USD. That's insane. I would say cancer is 100% worth dipping into the clue loot tab to, to contribute for a little bit. I'll give you some of the valuable shit that I got in there. Hope it works out well. Hey guys, so I'm sorry I drained a little bit of loot out of the loot tab early. Uh, one of my friends was doing a huge 24-hour charity stream, and I decided that giving up a little bit of loot was definitely worth it to partake in his big drop party that he had 24 hours. He raised 650 pounds for cancer research, and I think that is absolutely incredible. So a couple hundred K definitely worth helping out a good cause and done all right folks I think we have time for one more slayer task before skatizo and uh yeah and then we're gonna fight the big demon boss something good okay fuck you and your fire giant steradel Oh, we don't have time for that. That breaks my heart, but we really don't have time for that. It's such good money. Eh, fuck it. We're gonna try our best. Alright, I lied. We are not going to do the Black Dragon task. We're gonna save it for another time because we are not gonna have time to finish it before we have to kill Skatizo this week. That means we completed a grand total of 14 Slayer tasks. Let's double check right up here. We started at 141. We are on a 155 streak. 14 Slayer tasks netted us three total Dark Totems. So upcoming, we have three Skatizo fights planned. It's going to be awesome. A nice arc lights back there. And that is a Skatizos kill. Skodos, maybe? Elite clue? That Anku just scared the literal shit out of me. I honest to God thought that was the pet. I was like, oh, but no. Point is we got two clues here, folks. We got a hard clue and an elite clue. That's awesome. Time to go spec him out. Oh, that damn here almost was the spec out too. Ancient Shard, three room plate legs. No unique, but 113k and another hard clue.
Pet, Onyx, Elite Clue. One of the three. Show me something good. Room plate bodies. Rip. Alright folks, that's a wrap for week one. In total, we managed to collect 18 caskets, including two mediums, 14 hards, and two elites. Plus, the loot tab is looking so good already. Next week, I'll be focusing on skilling. Let me know how many caskets you think I'm going to collect in the comments down below, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Okay, I'm off to finish this paper that I still haven't really started. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Peace and blessings, everyone. Guffin's body. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god.